So right here on the bottom is uh, where the memory card goes. And we'll just slide it right into place. There we go, memory card in. All right, so today we're going back to the roots of the channel. I just realized I still need to get a picture for that. But today I have a new security camera. Special thanks to the folks over at SpectCon. I think that's how you say that. S-P-E-T-E-Con, okay, SpectCon. I could be wrong. Either way, they sent me this security camera so that we could, of course, do an unboxing and set up video on it and uh, show you how good this camera is. So we're gonna hop on the overhead rear, get this unboxed, and then set it up with our app. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And now let's check out this new 1080p camera. So, Con P30, 1080p Wi-Fi outdoor cloud camera. Some uh, support email addresses that are at a real domain. Love it. The uh, app on the Google Play and Apple App Store. Their company logo and uh, just barcode and stuff. And nothing down here at all. So, let's open this up. See what we get. Oh, is that electrical tape? I've never gotten electrical tape with a camera, but yeah, that's electrical tape. Okay. So we got a little, that's the cable, so that looks to be tied in permanently. So this is the mount, pretty straightforward. You loosen this, set it how you want, and re-tighten this, and then boom, it'll be in place and not move. Got four little screws here to mount it to the wall, so that's nice and easy, and they look easy to get to, so. Good job on the design. Got the four screws and anchors for mounting it. And a pretty decent size uh, proprietary, maybe not necessarily proprietary, but you know, it's not just a regular USB or micro USB cable. And then, that, that's it for the box. So, let's take a look at this. Here is the camera. This cable is permanently attached and this cable plugs into this to give the camera power. There is no battery in this. This is not a battery powered camera. It is just a Wi-Fi camera. The bottom looks like this is a, yep, there's your reset button and a micro USB port. And you can see here, a 1080p cloud outdoor camera. We have our little antennas here and that's the front. Very nice camera, I think. I think it looks nice. And once we kind of put this in, like so, and so yeah, you know, it kind of gets stuck to the wall and then you just gotta run this uh, cable somewhere. But other than that part, it should be pretty straight forward. Let me uh, get my phone and then we'll get this ran, we'll get it set up here. We'll go through the setup with the app and I'll even show you some uh, video footage directly from this camera. I see, I think this electrical tape is for this. If you put it outside, you take the electrical tape and wrap around that so you ain't gotta worry about anything. That's that's a guess, I've never seen electrical tape <laughs> included. All right, so today we're gonna get this camera set up. So we have the included power adapter and the little extension cable here. Put this here, plug this into here and Bada bing, our camera should have power. Now, we need to use our phone to get the app here off of the Google Store. And so very nice, takes me straight to their page and we will install their app. Looks like we got a little red, blue flashing light there, so that's good. We'll open their app, allow access, create us an account. I don't see, oh, there it is. So sign up, put in our email and password and we'll be back. All right, so we are officially signed in to their app. And so we're gonna click our plus sign here in the top right corner and dome camera or outdoor camera, Wi-Fi or wired. We have the Wi-Fi outdoor camera, Wi-Fi connection by QR code, Wi-Fi connection by soft AP. You connect your phone to the camera and then help it complete the wireless connection or connection by ethernet. I'm gonna try the QR code. So uh, after you send the device, make sure the indicator is flashing, confirm the file is on. All right, to connect to the Wi-Fi. All right, put in my Wi-Fi password. Now I have a code to scan with the camera. QR code scan is successful. Very smooth. All right, if you hear- Connecting to the Wi-Fi. If you hear that, click next. So now- Registering on the server. Look at that. It's already almost done. So that was a very, very easy setup. A lot of times setups do not go that smooth. I hate to say that, but uh, that's just the reality of it. They, they don't. This down, let it do its thing. See it there, just join the Google Home app. 
All right, and so now it's wondering where we're gonna put it. So uh, we'll call it Backyard, and they have a 30-day trial of their cloud. I'm not gonna accept that now. I'll respectfully decline. And if I click this button, it should bring me to my picture. There it is. Why, hello. Looks looks pretty good, I think. What, uh, we got a siren replay alert. That's only on SD. Let's take it to full HD. So now it's in, now it's in full HD. Can we uh, let's see what settings we have here? So backyard, device information, invite family members. Here's some advanced settings for image rotation, speaker volume, LED indicator, local applications, privacy settings, device time zone, motion detection, motion alert, and the network and device management. Very nice. So let's uh, get a memory card in this. This is a really old memory card but it's just what i have laying around so right here on the bottom is uh where the memory card goes and we'll just slide it right into place there we go memory card in bingo now let's go back into our settings is there anything motion detection device management so there's actually nothing on the memory card that i can tell let's uh let's see preparing to play video so it's playing video now let's click this button it says it's recording this is a daytime audio video test on the camera all right and then i'll stop that recording you can go to me dot local video to view so it sounds like for that one you go back here you go here to me local video there is the local video save to local that will save it on my phone daytime audio video test on the camera nice very smooth very easy so i think that'll do it for this camera oh, let me turn this down very easy app to set up nice and smooth uh, let me give you a little test of what the uh, speakers like on this camera all right and that should do it for this camera again a special thanks to the company for sending this one to me a very nice and easy camera to set up with really good picture quality and of course that sd card support on the bottom made making that clip of the uh, daytime audio video a lot easier of course you were able to hear the speaker on this as well speaker sounds pretty darn good i think so as long as you can find somewhere to run this cable or you're putting it somewhere where you'll be able to run the cable you shouldn't have an issue and should and should really enjoy the quality this camera puts off. I'll of course have this exact model linked down below in my description if you'd like to grab one of these for your household and I think that will do it for this video. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch and we'll see you in the next one. Deuces!